What's going on, buddy? Damn, I felt you're checking out In Flames. Square Nothing. This is off the Clayman album. And I believe I've heard two? I could be wrong, but I think it's two songs off it. Bullet Ride and Only for the Week. Only for the Week is a damn good song. Bullet Ride is okay. And I went to re-listen to it a minute ago. Because it's been a while. And I... It, it gave options. There's like the... This, the uh, classic, I believe. And then there's the remastered. They, they remastered it. So I just clicked the remastered just to see. The remastered sounds so different. Like, I'm not sure if I've ever heard of a band song remastered be that different. It's like a whole different song. So when Matt, t Matt appreciate your homie, Patreon, told me to check this out. I was like, does he mean the classic or the remastered? Because apparently these are going to be drastically different songs. Because the bullet ride was like a whole different thing. But I assume he means the classic. Because let's be real, most people, they mean the fucking classic. Actually, most, most band fans I've noticed hate remasters. They hate any re-editions, re remastered, re- Recorded, any of that, they usually fucking hate. I usually don't mind, for the most part. But I remember Slipknot redid My Plague. Wasn't as good. They redid Wait and Bleed. The Wait and Bleed was actually still pretty good. But anyway, let's check this out. Hit like, subscribe, square nothing. Metallica sounded in the intro. Now I will say, I love the sound, but I will say, what <laughs> the hell that was, but I will say, um, I could see why they wanted to re-record it or remaster it. Because the, the vocals are really low. They are. But can't you just... If you wanted to do that just in the mixing, just turn up the vocals, don't completely change them. Now, I'm not sure if they did that for this song, but, but again, for Bullet Ride, it was like way different vocals. Like, the whole vibe of the fucking song was different because of it. So I'm not sure if they do that here, which worries me, because I do like this vibe. If anything, I wouldn't mind them turning the vocals up a hair, but not too much, because it's kind of what sets the, 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 the tone here. Kind of like a Nine Inch Nails Hurt. Anyone knows Hurt? If you listen to that, the vocals are very low throughout 90% of the song. Until the end, the vocals are really low. If someone did that now, they would probably want you to remaster it and turn his vocals up. But it would kind of fuck up the whole vibe of the song. It's kind of what makes that a masterpiece. So, I don't know. I, I could see why someone would tell them to remaster it. But they it's probably best part being left alone. Just saying. But I, could, but I understand why, the thought process. No. Yeah, I like it like this. It's fun. Andrew says, turn what up? Huh? You got a, you got a fucking Q-tip? Yeah. Loud enough for you now, Dan? <laughs> Yeah, 
Did you say spend some time with this demon of mine? Stop it. Oh, beautiful transition here. Talk. Damn, that was a good song. That was a really good one. Wow. Is that my favorite from the old? Because again, I like to say I do prefer the sound of the more recent In Flames because the band has changed so drastically. But this is up there for me. This is a damn good one. See, like that. Like that. I spoke too soon about me. I was like, maybe turn him up a little. But by the way the song changed... That was just a tone setter. That was on purposely low. Because it never got low again. Once the chorus first hit, he stayed in that zone. Now I almost want to hear what the remastered sounds like. Let's just take a test. A quick test. Because I should have it up here somewhere. Because I, I, I had like the choice. And I was like, I'm going to go with the original. But just in case. All right, let's just see. The guitar is crisp. They kept the same vibe, the same energy. That's strange, because I just heard Bullet Ride, and it was drastically different vocals than the Bullet Ride I remember from the this class from the the original recording. So I don't know. Maybe they just really wanted to. Maybe they thought Bullet Ride needed a drastic change for some reason. Well, they kept it basically the same energy. I was worried that the the whole thing would sound different. No, it was alright. Not mad at it, not mad at it. But yeah, Square Nothing was a good song. That was good stuff. And I like that it didn't have, again, like the new In Flames. The, the, the new In Flames I love. Phenomenal choruses. Absolutely fantastic choruses. They're one of the best bands going right now. That, for four choruses to me. I do like that the old In Flames, the choruses aren't as crisp, they're not as clean, they're not near as refined, and in Square Nothing, there really wasn't a, there was a chorus, but it wasn't like, here comes clean vocals, you know what I mean? I liked it, man. And also, shout out to the, the remaster too, I haven't listened to the whole thing, 30 seconds, but they kept the same low energy at the beginning at least, so it's not a drastic slaughtering of a song. I truly expected it to be completely different vocals. But hit like. Matt, appreciate your homie. 
you are still here. And every time I, I always want to say Clayface. It's it's Clay Man. This album. It's I always want to say Clayface though, because the fucking Batman villain, <laughs> a real one. <laughs> 